Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create real email addresses in PHP, then send and receive email in your applications and tests. We're going to cover two techniques here, using the PHP Mailer library and also using the free email API service called MailSlurp. Well, with MailSlurp we can create real email addresses on demand, then send and receive emails within our tests and applications. So let's get started. I have a uh, new project here in PHP and what I want to do is just configure it to use Composer. So we can say composer.init in this project and it's going to ask us a few questions. We just need to uh, press enter on a few of those until it asks us uh, what dependencies we'd like to define. So it's asking us for some packages now. So if we just add in mail slurp slash mail slurp client PHP and press enter, it will start downloading that. And while that is done, why don't we also add in uh, PHP mailer so we can use both libraries. Um, so we'll go back, we'll add in PHP mailer and as that is installing, just press enter a few more times. Okay, it's installing the clients now, that's great. So we need to add in um, a few things to get this wired up. So if we go to the uh, MailSet website and go to developer documentation, and then we click on PHP, we can see here everything we need to configure the the API. And we're going to use MailSerp to create a mail server and then connect to it using PHP Mailer and also directly using the API client. So if we scroll down, it will tell us that we need to make a special type of import to configure Composer. So those of you who have used Composer before, this looks pretty normal. We're just requiring in the vendor autoload. So when you uh, install things with Composer, it installs them into this vendor folder. And we've got a composer.json and that includes here the dependencies that we are gonna be using. Okay, so that, that's great. Now, what do we want to achieve in this test? We want to create a new email address. So how do we do that? Okay, so we need to make a configuration for the MailSerp client. So if we go MailSerp um, configuration, we're gonna create a new instance of that, and then go to config and set the API key. So we need to set an X API key header, and what value should the key use? Well, we can sign up for a free MailSerp account. If we go to um, app.mailserp.com, I've got mine open here, and um, we can change the PHP and it will show us how to configure the app. So um, I'm gonna copy in my, um, my API key from there and um, I'm gonna go back here and set up the configuration. Okay, that's looking good. And now what's the first, first thing we wanna do with this? Well, we wanna create an inbox, a real email address. So we can do that using a inbox controller. And we configure that using the APIs inbox controller import like that. And now we wanna pass in null for the first parameter and the config for the second parameter. So that will set our API key for all subsequent re requests. So if we create an inbox, we can use the inbox controller, um, create inbox with defaults option. So that's gonna just create us a um, default inbox. Now I've got some red squiggly lines in my editor. Don't worry about that, I just haven't configured it properly. So if we say echo my inbox address equals, this is gonna show us what our new email address is. So we've just created a real email address in code. Let's see if this works. So we can just clear our console and run um, example so we run php example.php so this is going to execute the file so let's run that see what happens great great okay so it shows the new inbox address here so it's a, a long random number at mailsip.xyz excellent okay so now that we've created an inbox or a, a email address what can we do with it well we want to send an email and then read the email in code so let's do that now so in order to send an email we've First, want to send, uh, create some send options. So we say new mail slip uh, models, send email options like that. And then we want to set the to, and we can pass in a list of recipients here. We're gonna send an email to the inbox itself, um, just for this first test. And we want to set a body, we'll just say hello world, and set a subject, let's just say, my first email. Okay, so then we actually need to send it. So we can use the inbox controller to do that. Um, 
go like that and then say send email um, we want to pass in the inbox ID because we're sending from that ID and then we want to pass in the send options okay so that should work and let's just say um, sent email we'll put that afterwards let's run this and see if it works okay so we can see it said um, sent email at the end here we're just missing a new line that's why it's all joined up but we've successfully created a new inbox and sent an email so easy okay so what about receiving the email well we want to read this email in code how can we do that well there is a controller called the wait for controller which is a great feature of mouse that allows us to hold a connection open until an email arrives so this is really useful um, in test environments where you're expecting an email it might contain a verification code password reset and you want to make sure your test waits until that email arrives or in applications if you are receiving emails you can use this method too so I'm going to put in my config remember null for the first parameter config for the second and then we can say wait for controller wait for latest email so there's a lot of different wait methods um, but we're just going to use the wait for latest email and we're going to pass in a timeout of 120,000 milliseconds so that's two minutes and we're going to say um, only unread emails and we're going to assign that to an email and why don't we just echo out uh, email received subject equals and then we will put in the email subject so if this goes to plan we should see our email that we just sent to the inbox arrive back in the inbox so let's run that code and see what happens so created it's sent and we received it look how quick that was that was so fast we just sent an email and received it within seconds and we can read the code so easily in PHP okay so now that we've covered that what about connecting um, using the, the SMTP library okay that will be um, using an SMTP style inbox so we can actually delete all this get rid of that and we want to create an inbox with options okay um, inbox options um, and then we'll create a variable for that sorry inbox options and we say new mouse models um, create inbox DTO and we'll say inbox options set inbox type okay so we want to set inbox type to be SMTP inbox this means we will have SMTP access and um, once we've created it we want to get those access details and we can do that with the uh, inbox controller and we can say get SMTP IMAP access and we just pass in the inbox ID like that okay so why don't we just echo out what we have here let's say my inbox um, email is and then put that uh, email address so we'll say inbox um, get email address now we want to show um, the login details for SMTP so SMTP host is and we can say access details get secure SMTP server host wonderful okay let's run this and see what we get wow okay excellent so it's saying that there's a uh, server running at mailsurp.mx so we can connect to that using the inbox username and password so at this point why don't we go over to the PHP mailer website and have a look at how they um, set up SMTP settings so I'm just going to copy all this from the github repository and we're going to configure it to send using the inbox we just created so I just pasted that in we've got some imports here and we're creating a new instance of the mail client okay so we can get rid of that uh, vendor autoload now let's configure this um, let's just clean up this code a little bit and there's a few things we want to configure here so um, we'll just delete those and okay so for the host we want to use the access details so we'll say secure SMTP server host so there are options to use uh, insecure if you like but we're going to go with secure on on this um, example and we're going to use start uh, TLS so that's the type of encryption we're going to be using and so for the username we can use the access details get username and we want to pick the secure SMTP 
HTTP and for password you can see where I'm going with all this um, set up the password and the port as well so these are our access details for our own SMTP server that we just create instantly like that so we want the port username password host okay we can just put that there to be a bit cleaner now we want to actually configure um, who we're sending from so we'll use the inbox itself and we'll say um, we're sending from the email address and we will use the sender name as well so back in our options we probably want to set a name for this inbox and um, recipients will see that name as the sender so we'll say set name and we'll just say my test email like that great and then we need to set a two so just for simplicity's sake um, let's just send to ourselves again uh, we could send to any address but we're just going to send um, to the inbox itself and get the email address like that okay lovely got to have the end part and delete all these we don't need that don't need the attachments right now um, and now let's just configure the body um, we're going to say this is my SMTP message and for a subject um, we can say uh, hello SMTP world okay why not um, great and now after that let's just put a echo here and say email sent via SMTP server cool all right so let's run our code and see what happens we can actually see the SMTP shape going on here excellent so we can actually see that the PHP mailer has um, a has um, attached to our mail server and sent the email via SMTP that's that's awesome now what if we want to just check that um, the email is received properly so once again we can do the same uh, wait for controller and um, we'll create that again excellent pass null and a config then um, we want to wait for that email so we say email equals um, wait for controller get latest wait for controller get latest email oh, am I not not setting this up right wait for controller oh we need to say wait for wait for latest email okay um, get ID like that and we'll put in a timeout again one two three and do it like that and let's just say echo email is received body was and then we can put in the body here um, the email get body awesome okay okay so let's run that so um, let's just double check it before we run we're sending to the inbox itself great okay and we're waiting with the ID for the inbox and then we're printing the body so let's run it and see what happens okay we can see the handshake taking place with the server and now it's waiting so we're just waiting for that email to arrive this could take some time as it's going through the server luckily we've got our timer and it was received yes look at that emails received body was this is my SMTP message so in this tutorial I've shown you quickly how to set up with mail slurp and configure an SMTP server in PHP so you can use this in any of your applications or tests to send and receive emails and attachments at scale and so we have lots of examples using Laravel PHP unit dusk um, all kinds of test apps and so please check out our documentation at docs.mailslip.com and enjoy our videos. Thanks.